Hello my friends, today we will be going over the one year anniversary update in King God Castle. We will be talking about Chang'a and why he is God mode. And I haven't had the chance to go over the entire update yet, but we will be going over Chang'a because he's worth it. So let's see what's going on. Okay, let's talk about Chang Ah and what changed. Well, he wasn't very popular before this update, but I think he will become very popular right now because he is a beast. I have been using him um, like my solo Joel build I showed you guys in the previous video, but this time we will be going solo Chang Ah and everybody will forget about Joel because this guy is pretty nuts. So what did they change? Well, basically his skill range went up for one tile for each tier. So uh, each time you level him up one tier, um, he will get more range basically. Uh, that's one big change. Then um, his attack went up by 50%. That's pretty nuts. And his skill damage went up with 25% because that was already pretty good but another 25% on top of his skill damage and his Azure Dragon Slash, his basically his skill, his special ability, uh, the damage went from 3 to 4 times so that's also pretty nuts. So definitely let's check him out. The build we're using. I am using 10 points in heroes and 15 points in greed so I can stack my money to get my uh, Chang A to tier 7, the purple color, as quick as possible. Uh, I am playing also important, I am uh, farming corrupt vampires uh, because I want to get my hands on uh, the glove, the relic, uh, so I'm farming for that right now. Um, so yeah, the build. Um, I'm trying to get Shang A to the highest tier possible as quick as possible and all the other characters I'm using are simply there to uh, reach that as quick as possible and also not to weaken my early game too much so uh, early game uh, it's all about survival and trying to get your first items and uh, getting some levels quickly so I start with uh, 22 gold I believe I only buy three times that leaves me with 13 gold um, the second round I don't buy uh, that only works if you your beginner team is quick enough so you either die the second round and use the money or uh, yeah you just have your your team strong enough and then i move on and once my uh, usually when i get my my solo character in this case chang a uh, to gold star then i remove the rest of my characters and i try to level him up as quick as possible and that's uh, what we did here um, and right now we are in the way of trying to get another gold star on my Chang A. Ah. As you also can see, I, you know, I didn't have quite enough gold, uh, so I'm stuck now with three chunks on my field. But that's not really a problem because his damage is high enough uh, on my main Chang A, so it, it's it's pretty okay. Um, he will probably get like um, they they will start mind controlling him, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, just make sure your main Chang A is strong enough to do this. Uh, and, and then you can continue. So uh, once I have enough money, like this, I'm buy buying right now, I'm trying to get those Chang As off the field, but um, I, I don't have enough money as you can see. So I'm going to start farming my money and make it stack up thanks to our greed altar. As relics, I am using, of course, the Insignia. That's important if you're playing a, a solo build. Uh, and the spear. Um, also important to know with this anniversary update there were some changes to certain relics um, so the, the the rapid swords I think they got nerfed pretty pretty
pretty good. Um, and uh, a few other got a boost, but I haven't had the chance to to really check into that. I, I've been hearing rumors about Iron Helmet uh, being really good, so I'll, I'll have to try that one. But uh, I'll make another video about those and, and what relics are good right now. But we're doing it with these two relics and it's working just fine. So, yeah. Um, let's see what we're gonna do. Um, let's talk about the items. The items on Chang A. I prefer to use a bow. I think bow is the best item in the game and any um, character can use it. So the attack speed, making sure your, your ability gets procced faster and stuff like that. The more, the quicker you are, the better. So I think always a bow is very important. Also on Chang A. And a staff. His ability is nuts. His damage is nuts. And his uh, heal is insane so you want to proc your skill as quickly as possible um, I have been testing with sword I don't find that the the sword is really making a big impact so I, I'm just going to ignore that from now on during my farm runs and I'm always it, it also depends on the items you get of course but uh, I would always try and focus on a bow and two staves or two bows and one staff that's pretty good um, and in rare occasions I don't know if you're gonna try on other levels or harder levels maybe a, a chest piece could be helpful with the right uh, skill on it but um, I would go with two staves and a bow or two bows and one stave because that way Chang A is pretty insane okay so I will be speeding the video up from here on out because you know the gameplay so not let's not drag this any longer than necessary as I mentioned earlier I'm playing corrupt vampires and we all know uh, vampires is a pretty hard level to beat but this build which Chang A uh, you know corrupt vampires it's like uh, cutting a hot knife through butter uh, it's very very smooth very easy so definitely worth a try if you want to farm the gauntlet or or the banner uh, it's really a good build for that so check it out um, I think I said everything that needed to be said you can uh, keep watching the game to see how it ends but uh, it's going very smooth all the way till the end um, I just want to thank you all for watching please do leave a like and a comment if you have any questions and a subscribe would be much appreciated I can use all the help I can get uh, but thank you for watching and I will see you guys very soon on the battlefield mm -hmm.